good afternoon and welcome to Saldana Bay. It is finals day in the Transnet Super 8 series. And next up, Multi Sure Crusaders will take on the host Saldana Bay in what will be the plate final. Saldana dumped out of the cup competition on Saturday night by an inspired SAF goal all the way from Grabo. And now they are playing for the lesser placings against the Crusaders team that also had a, a bit of heartache over the weekend, losing their semi-final fixture. On the right-hand side is multi shirt Crusaders, led by Reynard Steers. So this is the captain of uh, Crusaders. A lot of provincial junior players, Graven Week players, also a man that played Curry Cup rugby for Griquas, Eric Zana, who will be used off the bench this afternoon. It's building up nicely towards the, the main showpiece. Saldana Bay, or Saldana then on the left, coached by Trevor Petersen. And here is the Crusaders team making their way onto the field. Reynard Steers, product of Otaniqua High School, played Curry Cup rugby for Southwestern District as well. And here comes the captain of Saldana, Daniel Tim former Boerland under 18, under 19 and under 21 provincial player, very good captain and well respected and he said at the end of Saturday that this was not what uh, the doctor ordered, not the way the script was written but they would come back on Monday which is now today and put on a show against the, this Crusaders team both will be hurting, having suffered semi-final defeats on Saturday afternoon but they'll be up for the challenge and the Crusaders will like nothing more than to uh, take care of the, the home team in front of their own supporters. The trophies will start getting bigger as we move towards the last match and then ultimately the cup will be handed out. There's a, a young man from the Pole region, Dylan Franke, who takes care of uh, this match. Jeff and Brankies and Lee Stanfleet will be assisting him this afternoon. Dylan Franke, young and upcoming referee, was in charge of the main match on uh, Saturday. Saldana last hurdles both teams have been forced into a lot of replacements and injuries all around as you can expect having uh, such a short turnaround time Johan low elevated into the, the starting lineup the loose head prop of Saldana he's a product of Swartland High School Galeto Jose former former Bulland under 20 players we go through the starting lineups you can have a look at Monray Jacobs and Rodwell Jonker quite a nice combination that 19 channel Samuel Greiling is, is a big bulky forward Christian Gura elevated into the starting lineup to play outside center and uh, Dorian Karulis playing full back with Dimashu Maya off the bench. Dimashu Maya played fullback in the first two games for Saldana. Multi Show Crusaders captain then by uh, the eighth man Reynard Steers. More players that you can uh, look for is um, off the bench. Southwestern District's Craven Week experience in the form of Malcolm Joseph. And the man that played for Greek was in the Curry Cup, Eric Zana. The Greek was uh, going down to the Blue Bulls in the past weekend of Curry Cup play, 40 points to three. So it is the Crusaders who will get us going this afternoon, playing from right to left. And if you've just joined us, they are also playing with a, a pretty stiff win at their backs. Bongani Nglumbe for the Crusaders will have the first carry. Moves it towards the right. How will the Crusaders start? All about the start. And that's been something that's been lacking for them. Steers. Knock on. Just knocked on the ground. Oh, that's unfortunate the ground. for the Crusaders. Building up nicely. There is the leader of this pack, Reynard Steers. How will Saldana go this afternoon? Monray Jacobs takes care of the kicking responsibilities for Saldana as well. Ergen Barnes, eighth man, promoted into the starting team this afternoon. Alexander Daniels getting an opportunity. Ati Magwala, Daniel Thim and Nguletu Yose, the lock combination. Johan Lo, Divan Joshua and Abdul Gaman Latif is the front rower. And they also have Grouch. Raymond Lopesha off the bench, 116 Fine. kilograms. Xavier Lesh Six. in Jersey, 19 for Saldana, will make an appearance, 130 kilograms. Number one. 
Injing, and that is Sibunele Mkefa, who has been uh, penalised. First awarded then to Saldana. And there he goes, just drops the bind. Penalty then awarded by referee Franca. Ricky Schroeder joins me in commentary, former Western Province scrum of this ball, not intouchable, introduce Ricky uh, shortly. So it's all about limiting it's those mistakes. We've seen two in close encounters, and you can anticipate and believe that it will be a, a similar thing oh, oh, between oh, oh, these two oh, oh, teams. Oh. Well matched up, Use Monroe it. Jacobs. Yes, Jonke Greiling gets his first taste of the action. Beats one on the inside. Now oh, Jonker. A good 9-10 uh, good combination this for Saldala. Wishing good uh, now Jacobs Jonker the short ball for someone to run onto going against a, a pretty stiff breeze Saldana in the opening exchanges lovely ball by Maguala step, step, step. Jacobs has had plenty ball in the first three Use minutes it. gives this a, a big whack oh was that a mistake by the fullback Jalen James and uh, easily turned over then for uh, Saldana. So, Ricky Schroeder, opportunity to introduce you to our viewers three minutes in. It's going to be another cracker, that you can believe. Listen, we are in for some exciting rugby all day already. We just saw Roses United come back in the game just before this. So, yes, a lot of excitement all around. Great to celebrate Coach. rugby on this Easter weekend. Club rugby at its Five. best, Jan. I see Johan Lois wearing jersey 18. Listed to, to have the one on his back, but uh, probably a, a bit of a jersey misfit or got lost in transit. So Johan Lois in 18. That's Samuel Greiling. Not, uh, fly half. The short ball from Rodville Jonker. Did not work out, so the Crusaders will get an opportunity to uh, get their hands on the ball. Fine over there. No advantage for a knockoff. No advantage coming. Uh, two plays that you can watch Jacobs and Jonker if they if they operate in tandem and, and it can be pretty smooth sailing this uh, Karulis who's getting a, a chance in the starting lineup today so uh, it will take these players some time to settle they weren't originally here uh, Saldana of course the host team so they can call on a couple of players to fill in with injuries we saw uh, one of the injuries uh, on Saturday player to be taken off the field with, with the stretcher Johan van der Vind John, rightfully so, you, you speak about the, com the 19 combination. Bind. They're going to determine Set. the tempo of this play. Which areas of the field Saldana wants to execute their, go, go. their play. So Zana is on the field as well in Jersey 21. Although Greiling said, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to try and uh, tackle you back. The pressure relief comes from James. Well fielded by his opposite number, Karulis. That's a, a good pass as well to Jacobs. Now, where do they play? What do they do? Who's going to straighten this line? Good start for Saldana. Maxwell van Low. Jacobs will switch direction. That's Hreiling in that fly-off channel. We've got so many runners. You'll see throughout the course of the afternoon. Game breakers. Van Low has doubled up and has, has been used in this last minute. Hreiling, low. Good power run by low. Backwards, Jacobs. Backwards. Greiling, that went off the boot, so no advantage needed. Now Jonker comes for a run. Lines, lines, off. Jacobs, he wants it quickly. That slowed up ball. Penalty awarded Five. to Saldana. No advantage. The Crusaders very Five. eager to get off the line with their defense line, with that rush defense, just having to make sure that they're that meter and a half behind the last man's feet. But definitely great attacking intent. Johan Low, a little bit upright in contact there. But he's definitely got the upper body strength to shake off a few defenders. It's been interesting to watch Greiling and uh, Jonker just change position in certain places of the field, certain attacking opportunities. That's Tim off the top of the lineup for Saldana, the captain. But Greiling used in that fly off channel. That's an interesting play from uh, Trevor Peterson, the, the coach of Saldana. That's Divan Joshua. Four up, four up. Disrupted by Bongani and Glumbe for the Crusaders. 
such a powerful brand, the Crusaders. We've seen them around the no, world no, no, in South Africa. This is not the only Crusaders club outfit in South Africa, of course. You One in Kwazulu Natal. Slow ball for Zana. Now picked up Zana. Oh, so the referee will forward. come back then, Franca. So You're really finding their the rhythm way. in the first seven ball minutes, ironing out some of those the communication gaps that might exist because both teams were forced into changes for this encounter. Dean Op also on the field for the first time this week as a starter in jersey number three, Dean Malarbe and uh, Shaquille Hartnick, the lock combination for the Crusaders. Let, let me and of see course, one the, the Crusaders of New Zealand, similar strip that they wear. Fine. We Talking, just finishing the, the theme of the Crusaders and how popular they are worldwide. And we know they've got some players with the same attacking intent as the Crusaders from New Zealand, but just a little bit over eager there with a 50 50 pass. Crouch. Not in control of that contact situation. Bind. Great to see the expansion of this tournament and the reach that it has. Now going out of the Western Cape. The eight power yeah, scrum by the, the Crusaders, but on the number angle one says on the angle. referee Franca. Number one again, so Sibonelli and Kefa, second time that he's been penalized now in the first eight minutes by the, the referee. They'll never agree, front rankers, of no. course. Uh, they're the wisest people on the field. Nice, the middle. Usually, but great. So just take a step, just take a step. Thank you. I'll ask you about scrum off shortly, Ricky, because <laughs> I, I, I think you guys aren't far behind. In the meantime, they do play to the back. Daniel Tem is, is the safety Whoa! ball. And uh, no, no, well done to uh, Divan advantage. Joshua for finding his captain. And with penalty advantage, they'll see if they can pick, bring Johan Lowe into play. Johan Lowe will be uh, no, short, pushing short, his short, man short, over. Short, short. The Crusaders need to get out of that contact zone. Another oh, loud whistle by there. referee Franca. Number seven, thank so you what do you do list. from here? Set up another line out. This is where they're very strong. Saldana, they, they execute that passage of play very well. Yeah, they've got a well-oiled rolling mall and line-out. They would want to keep the ball as tight Captain. as possible, draw the defenders in, and then at the right time, send the ball into space. But if they can go, go forward with this rolling mall, why not? Devan Joshua was never going to let that go, and you can think that he'll come around again here to offer his assistance at the back of the mall, but it is a turnover. Well, Murphy's Law, I've just complimented the accuracy of their line-out and now it's uh, gone astray so what will the Crusaders do the big win behind their back can they clear Reginald Africa driving forward for the Crusaders now Zana tight oh, angle for Shaldo Kibit won't find too much distance but more importantly the ball does go into touch still a, a good attacking platform for Saldana inside the 22 Nine minutes has flown by, waiting for our first score. Now Saldana somewhat getting a third roll of the dice with this line-out. They would want to be accurate. So important that communication, timing between hooker and jumpers, 100% accurate. It is again on that uh, occasion, somewhat disrupted, but then does the necessary. This is Freiling. Thought about the pass, gets rid of one, tries to open the gap. Does Freiling, takes two defenders with him. Rakhul. You need to start, you need to start from the end. Reginald Africa, the side, again the man that uh, makes the mistake for Crusaders. Way too no. many penalties against the Crusaders, especially in the own 22. I told you about uh, Jacobs and the fact that he takes care of the kicking responsibilities. He sets up this lineout. Lines in middle. Grayling does so well to stay on his feet powers through the contact gives enough time for his teammates and supporters to get to that breakdown to support him off the leg, that breakdown on. was formed well, off the leg says the referee so uh, again they've got to start from somewhat deeper than anticipated trailing has been a, a good runner for Saldana this time the penalty is awarded Can't to the, the Crusaders the Xavier Lesh Saldana would definitely be very disappointed with that penalty conceded. They've been knocking at the door and great relief kick. A good launch upfield by Ashaldo Kibit. Line is yours. Now again, 
Grayling just a little bit too upright into contact makes it very easy to execute that tackle uh, interesting to see his tackle technique leading with the arm we've seen a couple of cards in, in the European rugby recently uh, for exactly that charging leading with the front arm and that that could be very dangerous so something that he's got to just be aware of you have the dominance but he needs to stay square he's stepping out and coming in on the angle so I need your bind long and you need to stay straight Referee Frank are very clear in his messaging, saying that he agrees the Crusaders have got the, the, the hit on Saldana, but to earn that right, you've got to stay straight. You can't go in on the angle uh, and create a, a better platform for your team. I know the referee so mighty easy to say, spine in line. Keep your spine straight. And just after that discussion, the Crusaders earn a penalty. 12 minutes gone. Get your picture right, I'll see the other picture. Get the picture right. That's what he just said. Shot. Well, they'll have a, a shot at goal. Now, when he talks about the picture, he speaks about the body position. Your spine's got to be straight. Your elbow's got to be 90 degrees, not That's pointing good. downwards. So, there's a lot to think of as a front row man. Abu Rahman Latif, you could just see, as he got up, he acknowledged, he, he knew he was in a bit of trouble. So Jalen James with the first kick of the match. This is a, a long one, but distance won't be a problem purely because of the wind that's favoring him. We'll send it now. It is a, a good strike. Uh, the assistant referees say... They don't like it enough, so we'll restart with a 22. First opportunity then for points from Jalen James. Is a missed attempt. Another bad effort from the fullback. We mentioned that he had the distance, just the accuracy. Direction. Not there. We are building up. This is a SAF goal. The green strip. They, You must... Uh, you'll be very impressed if you uh, stay on to see their bulky pack of forwards. They've got a, a, a quality leader, the eighth man, Dwai. And progress will be in their way to a first Maiden Cup victory. What a story that will be to take back to Grabo to say that you came, you saw, and you conquered. Ashaldo Kivit. It's going to have too much on it, so a mistake from the fly off. Puts up his hand. A soft moment for the fly-off. Not the mistake you would want to make right now. 14 and a half minutes into this game. We chatted about the importance of the 9-10 combi combination. Sidras and Kivi, they would want to control as well. Team off the top, but not in straight. So the option will fall to the Crusaders. Either uh, a line-out or a scrum. If one has to think the scrum is the right option. Because the year they've they're just putting some heat onto Saldana. And they're under the referee's whistle as well. So good, uh, good option from uh, the Crusaders, from Steers and company. Just yeah. so stay in the condition, yeah. me. Yeah. Crouch! Zana will feed. He is uh, starting today. He was originally listed as uh, a replacement. Oh, foot, that's Messi, foot, that's uh, not the, the desired result for the Crusaders. They've given away a cheap ball. Jonker wants to exploit it. <laughs> and they win the turnover. Arriving player. To do so. Arriving player. The kick into space. So Saldana will have to fall all the way back. Was that touched by the Crusaders? The answer is yes. So everyone is on side. There's no offside line here. Not on the ball. Not on the ball. Johan Lowe's perfectly oh, timed to run on. by Johan Lowe. Divan Joshua will uh, move it across. Is there a small opportunity that can open up for Saldana? Running away from his uh, support runners, but it does fall to Jose. Off goes Lowe into the contact and ripped away by Ngulum Ngulumbe. One for you, one for me. The Crusaders will play through steers. Lovely hands. Birkus. He's affected the tackle. Knee on the ground. 
There's still opportunities for the Crusaders. A great line by Kibit. Couldn't find the support. Just outside the no. 22 where it will be picked up once again. This time it's uh, James. Had a shot at goal. Now on the run goes James. Beats one, beats two. Not held in the tackle, James. Long ball goes out towards the midfield. Plenty of ball for the Crusaders. Seeing off says referee Franke and the advantage not over. High tackle. 17 minutes. No points yet. Decision time for Steers. He says we'll have a line out. There's the high shot. On the neck. Or on the head rather. And you're not allowed to go there. As soon as that tackle goes higher than the collar, Thank you. immediate. Big line out for Morna Mkwai. Played uh, Sharks under 21 in his uh, career. And that's unfortunately again a, a missed opportunity for the Crusaders. Steers will almost just breathe down, uh, and, and just relax himself. He's the captain, they look at him for the leadership, but he would have expected more. That was a, a messy line out from Morna Mkwai. No score as yet. There's Monray Jacobs. Busy scrum off. Lots of responsibilities on his shoulders. Short line out from Saldana. Joshua to the front. Jose is the, the safe option. Jonker. Greiling. Short ball. Xavier Lesh uses his bulk. 130 kilograms that he brings to the party. Greiling with the skip pass. Lovely hands by Jose. Here's Joshua. Also does his part, they link up with Tim, Joshua off to the right, can he uh, show his speed? Oh, good cover defence by Ashaldo Kivit, no, just be, at the right be. time, no, danger no signs for the Crusaders. Good work by Divan Joshua and to Daniel Tim as well, there's a steers, well they can afford to throw the ball around. Long pass back is uh, to James. Easily fielded by Saldana. Now, is it on out wide? Karula says, yes, we can have a run. This is Maxwell von Lowe. Ati Maguala. Jacobs. From a standing start goes uh, Alexandra Daniels. Good run by the flank. Now Jonker thought about the pass. It just closed up by the Crusaders. Now can interlink with his... Uh, fl with his left wing, Jaden Lewis, still on for Saldana, Joshua, Jose with good hands, Jose towards the inside, Juan Lowe is there for support, they need a quick ball, now Saldana being contested on the ground, referee has uh, told them to get off it, Ashaldo Kivit, he's managed to slow it down for the Crusaders, here goes Freiling, good defence by the Crusaders, still under pressure, now it is uh, Karueles, Greiling, again they're lining up on the outside. It will be Maxwell van Lowe under the balls. Great continuity for Saldana. They went to the right, they went to the left, and this is where they put the first points on the board. It comes from Maxwell van Lowe. And look how much it means for the supporters and everyone alike. Maxwell van Lowe, what a team try indeed by Saldana. The skill set of the forwards handling... Absolutely brilliant, but it was that draw and pass. Great work by Greiling. Gura. That man, Maxwell Funlo, knowing how to score tries. So after a 20 minute period where both teams had opportunities, it is Saldano's strike first. It is a try then to the right wing, Maxwell Funlo. Monre Jacobs to. Uh, the easiest of conversions it is a 7-0 lead to the host 20 minutes gone well, the supporters the fans they are all excited they're happy that their home team is now in the lead but a collective effort by the Saldana team keeping the ball in two hands drawing the last defender Maxwell van Lowe he knows how to score tries and show a dance move or two well, there's enough music and enough tunes going around, so <laughs> at the conservative celebration, can you imagine if they win this afternoon, I think he'll, he'll have a, form, a, a couple more in his uh, 
in his bag of tricks. The restart is long but easily fielded by Saldana. It is Atim Maguala. He's picked up. He can't do that. Sakil Hartnik told to let go. Use it! Jacobs. Outside his 22. Launches to the top. Now the wind will bring it right back. And it is the knock on force. So here we go. Bongani and Glumbe. No advantage. We have a knock on. And that kicking game, that uh, strategy will be difficult to execute. Ricky from uh, into the wind. It's just, uh, it's just going to be almost impossible. Uh, keeping ball in hand would be the better option. But also teams don't want to play out of their own half. Best option would be to kick the ball so with a lower guys, trajectory. Try and if you can't kick it out directly, try and Crunch. find some grass. And that will be the mindset of especially Saldana playing against the wind. And they do have the advantage as well for a collapsed scrum. So it's a bit of a free play for the Crusaders now. Can they open the gap? It is uh, Justin Barna. Lovely ball over the top from Barna. Just waiting for the support Barnes runners to down. arrive. Now cuts back at speed. Here I go, the Crusaders with the reply. Lovely advantage from referee Franca. And they've made the most of a chance in the red zone. Scored by the Crusaders. Now Ronaldo for retain that this time with a guess. But once again, Saldana just sh shooting out of the line creating the space on the outside netman bana he has speed to burn but the right wing to ronaldo for 10 with a little sidestep of the right and scores for his try well reynard steers will be a, a happier captain if, uh, blown a couple of opportunities in the first 23 minutes not this time ronaldo for is credited with the try former welcome him pupil Shaldo Kivit, can he add the extras? The answer is yes. So it's uh, seven apiece, 23 minutes gone. Happy a Crusaders camp. And that's usually the danger if you have individuals shooting out of the defensive line. You understand you want that sort of defensive line pressure, but it creates the spaces on the outside, especially if you have quick guys like Jalen James, Ronaldo Fortein, and Justin Barna. Waiting for the ball on the outside. Lovely try by the Crusaders, showing the, the ammunition that they have out wide. Dangerous runners with ball in hand. Rod will Jonker will restart play. Will hang it into the winds. Again, it's Ngulumbe. Slow to arrive. Well, Run with uh, ball in hand from inside the 22 through uh, Frigion of Africa. Low. Not protected. Low. Support Play just slow to arrive. Good body position by the Saldana Jackal. The Jackal, as he's called. So, decision time again, and the decision has been made. Monray Jacobs says he'll have a shot at goal. Arriving player. All good, but he's arriving player. Last thing you want to do well, is give away that penalty. Ricky? Yes. Hard, just holding on. Great reaction time by Saldana. Reaction time to that breakdown. Absolutely brilliant. So, can Jacobs extend that advantage? We'll get three back for Saldana and make it a 10 7 game. It's straight in front, into the wind. Gives it a good thump, knows the conditions, this is where they play. They'll know all about the wind, easy kick for uh, the scrum half of Saldana Monre Jacobs. It's 10-7 for Saldana with just over 14 minutes to play in this, the first half of what is the plate final. Well, Saldana definitely having the local support behind them. Surely that will give them the confidence to continue building on that lead. from the result and kickoff it goes back from the blue hand so it will be a line out no knock on so the responsibility of a team usually just after scoring points is to make sure of that kickoff receipt 
making sure they control that ball otherwise pressure come back on them why with a good uh, solid line out here comes Reginald Africa on a run he'll take two with him Zana short ball to Malarba Zana steers came on a run he was skipped can the Crusaders create a, a bit more space in that midfield well watched at the moment steers well, he loses the ball in contact. That's advantage unfortunate over. for the Crusaders. Advantage called over. The bounce of the ball will be infield. Great reliever from Saldana. I haven't seen too many teams exit through a kicking strategy and get that far. So, again, being aware of the conditions, knowing the conditions, and that ultimately has moved Saldana into a safer space. A lot more clinical from the home team. Rightfully so. They know the conditions. They know exactly the swirl of the wind as well. Quiet with another accurate line out, but it was not no straight. To influence. There was a contest. Option time Option. for Saldana, scrum or line out. Where do you go? Scrum has got some, some heat on it. Do you play line the out. line out? Line Makes out. sense. Looks like Saldana backs their line out. Good decision by Dylan Franco. Oh, having just complimented the line out almost went astray oh, knock on forward. did arrive before they regathered position so uh, it's 15. unfortunate for Saldana a oh, very good work by the jumpers beating the opposition on the floor getting into the air as soon as possible making that ball as messy as possible no, we can't have but Saldana we can't have penalties enjoying the position the 56% also the territory 52% but they would want to convert that into Thank points you. get into the right areas of the field Crouch. and walk away with points bind sit Zana will feed the scrum oh tight hit for Saldana great strike Alejandro uh, Daniels Kralen long ball out they weren't set on defense Crusaders so maybe an opportunity now for Jonker can't beat the inside center J Jordan Birkus but it is uh, Jacobs off to Daniels Jacobs thank you what a time this would be to strike for uh, for the men in blue Tim Greiling he's carefully watched they'll know all about his presence in the opening 29 minutes keep a close eye on him that's Lowe's now the distributor off to Corne Cornelius seen a couple of carries from Daniels brought down by Steers entry you need to start entry at the from tackle behind. that's the reason for the penalty decision time once again good continuity and interplay between backs and forwards Saldana will, will take a lot of confidence from that passage of play specifically now just shows the skill set of this team a lot of the forwards handling the ball like backs at the moment getting that continuity getting that rhythm going and that man Monroe Jacobs fantastic game thus far great decision making by the young man They slow to arrive it's a shortened line out call Tim is the the favorite to to get the ball jersey number five he's the captain is this where Joshua plays they go to the middle and Tim gets the ball. Mall! Rolling mall, mall will be used collapse, immediately. Trying to get rid of some of those Crusaders defenders up front. Low is the let's use mall ball, over now. The, the line up over so that they can bring more players into the mall if they need to. Kralen, lovely hands. Jonker looks for more space. Was that a deliberate knockout? knockdown? We'll find out from the referee. Did he go with one hand or two? Jacobs. They've used a lot of uh, Cornelius in that fly-off channel, Carulis, Doreno, Doreano uh, Carulis. Advantage over! Advantage called over by the referee. Now Joshua. Lovely inside ball from Joshua. Not enough space. Good cover defense on Jaden Lewis. Oh, Curtis Kip was also putting his body on the line. of running they've got uh, enough firepower out wide Devon Joshua did the right thing to feed it back to Jaden Lewis yeah, just ultimately the space ran out man that uh, also went for long jump trials at the Athletics South Africa's junior championship 
the left wing. Uh, that was that kick necessary? Take the contact, try and get more players in, in to, uh, to contest. Jonker in the meantime will come right back, finds Jacobs off the deck. Great pass by Jacobs. Nobody's Leading off. with the referee to get the reward for the contest on the ground. That's uh, thrown away by Saldana, so they have to start through Barnes. That's Kralin. Now it's uh, Van Lo, the try scorer for Saldana this afternoon. Still Van Lo, finally brought to ground. Bandage. I am Galumbe, who's slow to roll out of that tackle zone. Now they're on the attack. You sealing off the ball. Off you go. And it's a yellow card. Clear options to attack. You slowing down the ball deliberately. Colombe. Yeah, way too many penalties against Crusaders, especially deep in the half of the of the Crusaders. No need really, Bongani and Gulumbe, if he looks at that again, he had more than enough opportunities to get out of the tackle zone. This is about making better decisions, especially when it comes to breakdown, when to attack the breakdown. This time he just made no effort in rolling away. Backwards, now the blanket backwards. approach, trying to warm the opposition in this uh, chilly day in Saldana Bay. No, no. Jacobs. Jonker is waiting and anticipating the pass which was behind his back and that assisted the Crusaders in uh, no making it somewhat messy and they're going to be rewarded more turnover ball we've seen a lot of that this afternoon from both teams the continuity just lacking at stages and important stages at that Zana will feed it off lovely no, pass no, just in front of the nose of Steers but it's still with the Crusaders cover defense from the captain Tim now that's jumped Can't over and over slapped out of the hands of Zana. Can't, Can't dive do over that. So more ill discipline from Saldana. Ten seven in favour of Saldana with six and a half minutes to play, and this is the first half of the plate final at the Transnet Saldana Easter Rugby Tournament. One more match to follow, and that's the Grand Cup finale. After this, men from Club Bo Safkol playing in their first ever Saldana Easter tournament. They will be up against Progress from Utenaig. So it's Eastern Cape East meets, meets West in the grand final later this afternoon. Eastern Cape and Western Cape for the title. Off the top from uh, the Crusaders. Oh, it almost fell kindly for Saldana. Oh, that would, that's Still a missed opportunity. Stop, one move. feels he was coming at speed. Gershon Gura almost thought he had an early, uh, early present. Oh, Gura. He read that play so well. The previous game was good, guys. Realize where the ball is going so close at both hands in the air. But just couldn't get it under control. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Balls out, play. Tackle, tackle. A messy situation, but it's Monterey Jacobs gets the ball into space. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Sam Greilin, Greilin keeps it alive, gets his hands through the contact. Danger signs again for the Crusaders as Jacobs to Jonker. Low in support, not going to get it on this occasion. Jacobs, more ball, more front football as Karula sends it off. There goes uh, Ati Maguala. Not another, not another space to operate in as oh. Jacob switches it towards the left once again. Balls out, balls out! Low, Jacobs, Greilin. He straightens but is well met by Kivit. No, he reloaded! Play Jacobs, on. low, wanted to release your say. Still can do oh, he won't need him! He won't need him! He has gone over for a try. The man with the beautiful beard, Johan Lowe. We've seen some physical carries from this man. This time he's rewarded 
with a try. Once again, one Ray Jacobs chooses the right area to go and <laughs> steps off the right foot. Does Johan Low shows what a center can do? I can do just as good. Uh, one for the prop club in South Africa, and he'll talk long about this uh, try. Johan Low, the day he beat defender yeah. after defender <laughs> in Saldana. Uh, what a play indeed. Monre Jacobs, big kick as halftime approaches 15 7. It's more than uh, a converted try. That's the gap currently. Can he add the two? Yes, is the answer. He's in the crowd, loves it. Once again, it was the decision making of the scrum of Monre Jacobs. Realizes he's got his big man, and what a little swerve. He would say that's a mismatch. But Johan Lowe, <laughs> what a special moment. They'll be jumping up and down in uh, at Swartland High School. That's where he matriculated. Great score for Johan Lowe and for Sardana. Backwards! And talking about no, Lowe, he just thought he had another offside. run. He was in an offside position from blue. He couldn't play from there. So accidental accidental offside, offside called by Dylan Franke. Can the Crusaders fight something positive before they go and have some oranges and water? He is the man of the moment, Yuan Lo. So it's deemed that that ball was touched, and that's why Lo was not allowed to continue that run. The touched in, it means an accidental offside. Crouch! Find! Important scrum now. Set! And Adrian Joseph. And the Crusaders all the way from the southern southwestern districts big pass big play opportunity now for the crusaders through bana we've already seen a lot of bana and uh, ronaldo Fortain. big defense coming in from saldana threats will still be there damien cedras hartnik hartnik one way then the other still hartnik as a supportive runner currently skippers try time and what a try what a time to strike as well. Just over a minute remaining. Lovely play by the Crusaders, showing that they can be as dangerous on attack as uh, Saldana. Confirmation of our try score in the outside center. Kurt, these skippers that finally came together for the Saders. Uh, Referee Franca saying about 40 seconds left. And that while they are down to 14 players, Wangani and Gulumbe in the naughty chair. 17-14, it's a three-point game with 30 seconds remaining. What a try by the Crusaders. This is where it came from. Cedras. This run here. Artnik stepping inside his man, beating Latif quite easily. And then the, the speed, the injection of pace from Curtis Skippers. And Galetu Yose had no price. All smiles in uh, that camp the siren has gone off in the background so this will be the final play unless there is a penalty steers from the restart he wants another run says that they're not willingly going to kick this out maybe they feel that there could be a chance to add some something positive try and get themselves into striking distance possible penalty and conversion to level matters before the break it could open up again for the crusaders as they go left Beat his man, oh, what a time to intercept Jonker, but it's still pass alive, and then forward. the referee says, it's a forward pass, well done, guys. warning lights on, good, last two, three minutes for the Crusaders, unfortunately the pass could not stick, so lots to talk about in both camps, both teams have made their fair share of mistakes, but they've also produced some moments of magic, this is then the final run, look at that pass, and then just there cutting back he didn't see his man in time and then the forward pass off the end of Jonker but uh, the first mistake was the forward pass and therefore no advantage will be played 17-14 all to play for in the second period in what is the plate final at the Saldana Easter Rugby Festival two tries apiece but it is 17-14 favoring Saldana at the moment
Welcome back to Saldana Bay. It's half time in the plate final. Saldana leading 17 14. We've seen four tries in the first 40 minutes. Uh, if you are if you just joined us, let, you, let us take you through some of the magic moments. This was Jonker tackled, and then it uh, does present itself to uh, Carduelis. Geilen has been uh, one of the big standout players for Saldana this afternoon. It opened up for Maxwell von Lowe. And he crossed over under the poles for what was our first try of the match. That was also converted 7-0 to Saldana. The Crusaders also dished up some uh, magic here. A penalty awarded by Dylan Franca, the advantage that they were playing under. Long ball out to the fly-off Kibit. It opened up in front of him. Uh, Justin Barner ran, ran a great line. The support came from James. The goose step. And then back on the inside went uh, Ronaldo Fortein. And that was the opening score. Saldana came right back. There is Greiling playing another part in, in setting up this move, cutting back against the traffic. Now he reloaded, play on. Jacobs, Johan Low saw that there was an opportunity in front of him, got rid of the hooker, Mornem Kwai, and then uh, went all the way for a, a beautiful score for Low and Saldana. That the second try of the afternoon. But there would be chance for one more just before the halftime whistle. It all started from uh, deep in inside the, the Saldana territory. Also a lovely step by Sha Shaquille Hartnick. He put away Kurtley Skipper who ran a, a nice powering line. And he had too much speed to burn for Ngeletu Yose to dot down under the post. 17-14 in favor of Saldana. Some of the talking points at the halftime break. Lineouts, 50% uh, accuracy on the side of the Crusaders, but they will now have the wind at their backs. Scrum time as well has been disruptive in, in both teams, but uh, there's uh, good positives to also take away from this. Tackles missed, only eight on the side of Saldana. Territory 58% favoring the host and the possession also favoring the blue jerseys. Can they convert and can they do something with that in the second half? Three points the difference as it stands. So I'm here with the Honorable Mayor, Honorable Andre Triter. What a phenomenal day it is indeed. Weekend for that lack of a better. Yeah. This viscous, you know, look at that amazing crowd up there. Uh, look at the amazing rugby, amazing people, amazing stadium, amazing competition. Oh, just makes us immensely proud to have such a fantastic competition here on the viscous. Since the inception in 2018, it's probably done wonders for people to come out here. What does it mean for Saldana Bay? Yo, you know, I don't think people can imagine what it brings in. Last year, we had a bit of a test through Stellenbosch University. A weekend like this can bring in seven million rand injection. It, this is winter time. It's the beach downtime. So events like this literally changes people's lives. And over and above that, we just love rugby. I mean, you guys are very passionate about rugby. Uh, what are some of the attractions here in Saldana Bay for the people at home? You know, Saldana has got seven towns. In the east, you've got Hopefield, Langabon behind me, beautiful food. You've got some of the best restaurants in the world at Paternoster, Tichaiki, Wolfgat. And then, of course, this beautiful Saldana Bay, Charlie Fish Shop, a Sea Harvest. It just goes on and on. This place has got so much to offer. From your guys' side, the mayor's office, what are some of the initiatives you guys got involved in, especially with sport in mind? Listen, when I was sworn in, I said we will build an economy around sport. This is a 20 million rand stadium. Down the road, we've got a multi-purpose center of close to 50 million. We will bring sport here. After this, there's 28 days of pool, um, eight ball, and it just goes on and on. We have built an economy around sport, and it will benefit our people because that's the main focus. That is the focus. But before I let you go, Mr. Mayor, how confident are you feeling about your home team at the moment? They're making me sweat a bit. <laughs> but you know what? In my chair, I'm used to sweating. I'm convinced that Solana, they will hakiri in ikidir. They will bring a cup home. It's not the first place, but we don't mind. We don't mind sharing great rugby, great uh, teams that's come here and blessed us. 
So may the best man win. Well, Honourable Mayor, thank you very much for welcoming us all and we having a ball of a time. Thank you so much. There we go. We will be back just after the break for some more exciting rugby. It is the second half in this debate final at uh, the Transnet Soldana Easter Rugby Festival. Soldana then leading the multi shirt Crusaders by 17 points to 14. Soldana will switch ends and will now have the wind at their backs. The scoreboard in their favour. And the question is, can they put this game away or will there be a fight back from the Crusaders who showed just before the halftime interval they've got enough game breakers to make it difficult for Saldana this afternoon. The host probably still favoured, especially with the wind at their backs, but all to play for in the second 40. Well gathered by Dean Malarba, who was promoted into the starting lineup this afternoon. If they go on another run through Mungkwai. The hooker, physical presence from the hooker, they steers the captain of the Crusaders, can they start the second half as they finish the first with a seven pointer, nice interlinking and play between backs no, and forwards, out, no, out. Jaden James has also been a busy player, straight now straight off the feet, that's ill discipline again, <laughs> and that would have been addressed by the Crusaders camp to say, can't afford these silly errors, especially in striking really? distance, Post. and with someone like Monray Jacobs in your ranks, you don't want to give away easy penalties, especially with the wind, and that is what the Crusaders have just done. See the arriving players come right there, just boom, off feet, can't do that negative action, which means uh, a penalty awarded. That's Dean Hop. It's just too easy. And that needs to be addressed by the Crusaders camp. 17-14. First opportunity for Saldana to put points on the board in the second period. Monray Jacobs. Scrum off. He's had a pretty good afternoon so far off the kicking tee. Distance will be no problem. Jacobs with the strike. He likes it. The assistants like it as well. First points of the second half belong to Saldana. They're out to a six-point lead. Now Saldana currently keeping that scoreboard pressure. When they have opportunity to get points on the board, they'll take it. That's exactly how they wanted to start the second half. Six point lead. They need a build on it. Restart floats around and well gathered by Low originally. He popped off the pass and then back on his feet again. No, 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 it's so important not to concede points having just scored yourself. Jacobs, they know the conditions, they know how this win plays out. A big launch from Jacobs, well, allowed to bounce by the Crusaders and the cover defense quick to react from uh, Saldana. This is Africa. Oh, what, what will they do in the second half? A long ball over the top, uh, well fielded by the outside center. Skipper, Skipper's full of running already. Oh, that he just takes the contact, not afraid to, to run directly at the opposition. Joseph. Malerba. No, you're possible. 
Spear, steers, steers on the inside. Joseph. Give it. Nice, leave dance! Lost your, lost, leave dance! Leave, leave dance, leave dance! Counter rugby, there's no bodies to ruck over, so it's still with the Crusaders. Malarba steers. Look who's there, Johan Low on his feet, but uh, they do take care of him. No, Africa. no, no! We've seen a lot of James and the injection of James in the back line. Another good piece of play by Jalen James. Now it's uh, Fortein, Fortein, oh, lovely step, Fortein! Twinkle toes, Fortein! Ronaldo Fortein! Oh my word, he's got quick feet. That's definitely going to make part of a highlights reel package. But good team try again, but once again, look at this guy's acceleration of the mark. Ronaldo Fortein beats one and carries another one over with him. Well, Ati Maguala became a mere spectator. Couldn't do much. That burst of energy off the mark from Ronaldo Fortein. What a beautiful try. This will come from the right. It uh, just stays out left. So one point, the difference. It's another close affair. 2019 in favor of Saldana. Once again, a good passage of play by the Crusaders. They kept the ball alive in the contact situation, never allowing breakdowns to form. So it doesn't give the defense line an opportunity to get in place. And then they will create space on the outside like that. But Ronaldo Fortein shows his twinkle toes. Restart from Jonker. Very important for the Crusaders that they are accurate. And this is exactly what they do. They're going to come straight through the gap. What a lovely run this is by uh, Hartnick. It's still on for the Crusaders. Unfortunately, the execution lacking. Monray Jacobs says he'll come right back. That's ripped. But the referee says no advantage, so we'll go right back. What a break from Shaquille Hartnick. Oh, Hartnick, the big lock forward, getting over the gain line, and showing some speed. He was communicating while he was running, telling his supporting runners to run into space. And that's usually the challenge of the line break, is to get yourself in a better position than the ball carrier from a supportive point of view. What a lovely run that was. Shaquille Hartnick couldn't believe his eyes. It opened up in front of him. Unfortunately, he couldn't link up with uh, the supportive players, and the mistake did arrive. So, uh, Reynard Steers was so eager to get there, just overran that ball a bit. A little bit of a lack of communication between the two players. But nothing wrong with the character of this Crusaders team. They won't go lie down. Reynard Steers, in the meantime, has lost his scrum cap. Five, set, set. He's all over the field, the captain of the Crusaders. Big pressure coming on that Saldana scrum. Jacobs, Caruelas. Now, what will James do? Has a look up and decides that they'll go for the Grayling Channel. Easily goes through that gap. Now it's a, a foot race. The link up and the support comes from Joseph. Oh, this is champagne rugby from the Crusaders. What a lovely try. Jalen James, the danger man himself, with his first round of the match. But it, what a counter attack from Jalen James. Looks for support from Bana, and then support play from that man, Aiden Joseph. And Bana will score the try as well and show his dance moves that he'll be showing off later tonight. They've 
They are just so dangerous. When they get things right, especially from back play, you give them half a gap and they're going to expose it. They're going to force over the door. They're going to force open the door. They're going to break the window. They are coming in and just illustrated there once again by the Crusaders. Justin Barna with a breathtaking try. The responsibilities are Shaldo Kibi. Can he add the two? It's another good strike. Yes, they like it. The Crusaders have hit the front. It silenced some of the, the hosts, the spectators supporting Saldana. They look up at the scoreboard and it's 26-20 for the Crusaders. Uh, Jalen James did so well, carried the ball in two hands. Justin Bonner down the touchline. A fantastic switch with his teammate. Just to draw the defenders across, open the space for him. And Bana dives like a 7-4-7 Boeing. Back on oh, the this, presence of mind to this. know exactly what was going to happen. Bana cutting back and uh, oh, just it. running that perfect line. Oh, so there's been a sort of a storyline developing over, over the course of the week. Now there's a bit of afters. It's not what you want to see. 26-20, but especially from kickoff time, the mistakes. The team that has just scored almost as a, a lapse in concentration and giving the ball back easily. It's um, getting heated. Now both teams must be very careful that emotion doesn't get the better of them. Need to stay cool and calm. Not become frustrated now. Well, Arba feels that he was played in the air, and th that's why he, he was sort of uh, taken aback. And rightfully so, he did jump in the end. only allowed to play her once his feet touches the ground. Penalties holding on. Daniel Tim and uh, Reynard Steers called into the headmaster's office. <laughs> Holding on this the call. So Jacob says, let's settle this down. Six points the difference currently. 30 minutes to play this to uh, narrow that deficit to three yeah. points. We've seen some spectacular tries. And you can probably bet that we're going to see a, a couple, of, couple <laughs> more before the end of this encounter. And then there's still another cup final to come. Safkal in progress, warming up currently. We'll have the perfect angle to follow the Jacobs kick. Jacobs, all focus, concentration, big moment. Can he narrow the deficit? He pulls it off to, to the left. So, an unconverted penalty there from Jacobs. Hasn't done much wrong this afternoon, but pressure is telling, pressure is building. At this stage of the festival or tournament, it all becomes a mind game. It's who is still accurately perform oh, who's gonna crack first that was a, a charge down a legal charge down there goes Malarba he'll be uh, fueled by Lines, the don't, previous don't, incident where he felt that he deserved the penalty for being played in the air so he goes on a, a bit of a, a run to the opposition good presentation by Dean Hopp taken back taken back by Kibit bounce of the ball favors Saldana Jonker has support so Oh, lovely inside, outside by uh, Maya, Dimashu Maya, who was the starting fullback in this team for the first two Maul! matches on uh, Thursday and Maul! Saturday. More called. Good defensive work by the Crusaders. It's not going to come out there. So the turnover Maul ball first. for the visitors from the southwestern districts. A brilliant defensive effort by Reynard Steers. And also. Birkus and Skirpus coming by to hold up that man. Good upper body strength. Prohibiting him of getting rid of that ball. Even his knees touching the ground. Keeping the play up. Winning the scrum for the Crusaders. Find. Sit. Yes, yes. Joseph. He's been very busy. Plays towards the left. Zana. Ducks under the first tackle. Counter does arrive, but still clean ball for Joseph and the Crusaders. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Was that, a, was that a little punch? Would love to see uh, the, the replay there. Certainly a bit of off this. Oh, there we go. It's now going to uh, flame up. Malarba. Joseph. Kibitz. Seen a lot of uh, Artnik as well, and he, he's, he likes to go on a run. That's James. Joseph. Kibitz. Hop. Joseph steers the captain. Short ball and oh, went for the intercept. That uh, uh, Maya, the Marshal Maya, deliberate knockdown. Quick tap from Bongani. Ngulumbe. Ngulumbe on a run. Joseph wants uh, a quick ball. all front foot for Kibit and company Malarba. Double roll. Continue, just a double roll. No advantage. Oh, good Outside. communication by the referee, Dylan Franke. Marks over here. Another quick tap from Joseph. Links New up with the uh, support. Is that going to be Jordan Bierkes? That short for, for the Crusaders. Now Malarba. Still short. Joseph. Did they leave the line too quickly? The Saldana defends. That's knocked on. No advantage. Not 10. Not 10. So they'll get another bite at the cherry. Do they employ the same tactic though? Steers moving out wide. He's calling for it. Cappy. And that's Captain. the thing of shooting Cappy. up from the line. You Scrum must ball. make sure you must tackle Scrum. the guy, ball and all. Because you will leave gaping holes on the outside. If you don't get it right. Well, good decision being made by the Crusaders. Maybe just settling everything down, starting with a set piece. Five meters out, regrouping time from a Saldana perspective. They're getting into a huddle as the, the fresh legs comes on. Bradley Sumaro in jersey number 16 being introduced. Malcolm Joseph, 117 kilograms, former Southwestern District's Craven Week player. So they've beefed up that front row and maybe the exact right opportunity to get a scrum going with uh, the fresh legs being introduced. So they've cleared the front row. No, 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 I tell you. They've got a very big, big blind. If they can get a quick right shoulder here, takes the flanks out of play completely. A 8, 9, 14 option with a big blind. Crouch. A definite try scoring, but they need to get the right shoulder at the scrum. Well, I like your tactical awareness here. And I, I think that it's certainly on. There's no doubt about it. If they can, if they can power through the scrum and create the shoulder, as you said, that it's going to be on. It's going to be presented. Is this where they want to play, though? Just a standard line towards the left. Yeah, Full back in the also. in the line as well. Ronaldo Fortain is out wide. Is a try scoring machine. He's got speed to Crouch. burn. So maybe even a, a, a better Bye. chance to introduce him exactly Bye. for that reason. Guys, Very quick off the mark. But like like you said, tactically they need the right shoulder That's first. That's the mark. Just step left of the mark. Yep. You know your channel. Just go into your channel. Can they withstand the pressure? The Saldana men. New front row on the park for the Crusaders. Crouch! Bind! Sit! How will this play out? Joseph to feed. They're going to try and power through the middle. Steers controls as the referee has the arm out once again. Almost thought Dylan Franco was on his way to a penalty try. Just protecting those legs against the contact. Will there be a change or a variation? No, why, why is it necessary? They've just shown that they, they've got the number. They've got Saldana's number at scrum time. Let me see that coming in with a bit of an angle there, creating the space. Opportunity for Reynard Steers to pick up and go himself. Dathman. Well, they just wanted the opposite yeah. of, of what we saw there. It would, have been open, it would have opened up Bind. for Fortein. Nothing makes a scrum off more excited than the right shoulder if they can get it here. Well, they are going right through the center. This time, number one angling in, says the referee. Johan Lowe wanted to take a quick tap of all people. Johan Lowe is fencing his chances here. Yeah. Scrumming in on an angle there, those hips swinging out. Immediate indication for the referee that the front row men scrumming in on the angle. And we, the referee's lingo is paint, painting the picture, and, and he's just seen the exact same picture. So we, we've been alert to it, and uh, they did a, a, a look again, a, a replay, action replay, and this time 
referee Frank has said, no, if it's happening twice, there's a problem. Kralen, he charges the line. Good burst by the inside nice, centre from Saldana. Nice. He can be the potential game breaker that they need. Daniels, Alexandra Daniels for uh, Saldana. Jacobs switches direction to Jonker. Here they go again. Gura loves to run. Still in play. Now that's a knock on. Another error, forced relax, error relax, for Saldana. The Marshu Maya has been prominent on, on attack for Saldana Boxer this afternoon there. since he's so made an appearance off the bench. There he is. Now with five handling errors on both sides, if the game becomes loose like that, the closest player to the ball, dive on the ball, show a little bit of patience, just secure, wait for the deep, the supporting players to get with. And then take it from there, but not rush anything or Crouch. force anything at the moment. Mind. Now a free kick awarded. More ill discipline at the scrum. They've just conceded the scrum penalty. Now a free kick. Oh, the crowd on their feet. We just see the men from Krabau coming out to the warm up area. And uh, hopefully we can get a look at them uh, as, as we go into a, a, a referee stoppage. But uh, there's a green, there's a, there's a all the green next to us. Your say now for Saldana. Your say bumps away defenders. Jacobs, Tim, lovely ball to Joshua. Joshua needs to pull and pass. Yo, here we go to Mashumaya. He scores in between the South goal players as they approach the warm-up area. What a time to score for Mashumaya. But what skill from Tivan Joshua? If I'm not mistaken, I saw a little movement off the ball as well. Running into space, the hooker. But brilliant play. Combination between forwards and backs. Tim touches the ball. And look at Divan Joshua. Draws the last defender and gets the speedy Gonzalez Maya into space. Monre Jacobs to add the extras. It's a one-point game once again, so this is for the lead. We're into the last quarter of a pulsating plate final between Saldana, the hosts, and Crusaders. 51 points in the match. The kick is coming around. It's coming around. It's a lovely strike by Jacobs. Saldana hit the front. It's one point is the difference between the teams. 27-26. What are we in for in the last 20? Absolute colossal kick by Monre Jacobs on the touchline. Converting that man's try. Exciting times in Saldana Bay and there's another match to come and it is the grand final. Progress against Safgol, the debutants from Krabo. Jacobs goes short. Lovely drawn pass and just waited for the right time. Two Crusaders players going over one another. This could create a, an immediate opportunity again for Saldana. All about the, just being patient on, on chest, attack now. Steers is there to Masyana. defend for the Crusaders. The captain in, of that red machine, Jacobs. He smashes it out wide. Here comes Frailing. Another long ball. Joshua is there again. Could this be a, 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 a replay of what we've just seen? There is Gura. Oh, and then finally the touchline wins. Oh, we saw them in the exact same position, sliding up to attack the left-hand side. But this time, the Crusaders' hand prohibited the try. 27-26. But I love the hooker, Divan. Joshua's spatial awareness realizes the space is on the inside. Just the hand getting in the way there. But the hooker showcasing his whole skill set at the moment. Well, it's finally coming together for Saldana. As they go to the bench. Johan Lowe will be the, the last man to arrive here at the, the line-out. Just a bit of a, a discussion, first of all, of where they want to play and how they want to go about it. Top of screen, you see Johan Lowe joining proceedings. There is the trophies. As I said, they get bigger as we go on through the afternoon. We've already had two matches. This match, number three, the plate final. And then the, the Grand Cup. Where is it going? Yutenaik Ochrabau. Let's continue, guys. And it's not just the silverware these players are playing for, but the bragging rights as well. We know how personal club rugby is. It's a family affair, one would say. Do they play the safe ball being 
Tim. That is where the intention, it was the intended target, but uh, Tim missed it. Still with Saldana though, Jacobs. Tackle, tackle. Tackle called, so they've got to get off him and give him an opportunity to play. That's uh, Jacobs. This is Daniels. Seen a lot of him in the last couple of minutes as well. Jacobs has another go. Low just pops it up to the next runner. Jacobs now switches direction. It could open up again for Soldano. This is Carrueles over for the try. A golden period of play for those two tries in quick succession. And now it's 32-26. The fullback Carueles creating magic out of nothing. Once again, change of direction. Amona Jacobs and then realizing the mismatch. Accelerating off the mark and shows his speed. Speed to burn, of course. Doiran Carueles is that a key strike in the outcome of this match? 16 minutes away from the final whistle. The scoreboard will tick over. It is 32-26. The kick to come, and Monroe Jacobs has had uh, some practice from exactly this spot. It's going to come from right to left. Is this going to be a seven-pointer? More importantly, it will mean that the Crusaders will have to score more than once. He's uh, happy with it. He's happy with it. No. The assistants uh, don't agree, so it is going to be a five-pointer, 32-26. It means the Crusaders are a converted try away from the lead. Uh, 15 minutes. Carolas gets the high fives of his teammates. Well-deserved try by the fullback. 32-26 with 15 minutes to play. We're in the final quarter. What a match we've had, Ricky. And it's uh, far from over. Again, they go towards the blind side. That's Tim. He had an opportunity to link up with his lock partner, Jose. Jacobs has had plenty of ball to work with. Not held in the tackle, so he's allowed to get up. Jacobs, does he go to the right again? Indeed he does. This is Kutsia. They are lining up. They all fancy having a run at this Crusaders line now. High tackle. Low advantage. Tackle, high tackle was his eye. Tackle was I. Surely line out is the best option here, Ricky. Definitely line out. This is a confidence within the Saldana team now. And they're spotting the mismatches. Getting backs on forwards. And with a little bit of acceleration, just gets through. Gets over the advantage line. Uh, welcome <laughs> Joseph with a high tackle. Unfair battle, I would say. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll say it as well. Divan Joshua, can this bear the nail in the coffin? You are low! Just short. Needs to release that, the, the tacklers of the Crusaders. Still oh, oh, could oh, work oh, out oh, for oh, the men in blue. Here goes Tim. What a captain's innings he's had this afternoon. Cap uh, tackled by his opposite captain, Steers. Jacobs. Next spot will be set up by uh, Waterboer. You missed it. Jacobs, Joshua, short ball, lovely play again with uh, Gura coming at speed. Low now plays scrum off off the deck. Mguala. Competition is fierce on the ground. Jacobs has options both ways. He finds low in that fly off channel. Joshua is the link. Junker, final pass, try. Maxwell for low. Not for the first time today. This has brought them to their feet and is now the way to celebrate. They deserve the cheers. What a try again by Saldana. But once again, who had a crucial role to play in this try? Divan Joshua. Maxwell van Lowe getting the try on the board. And Monroe Jacobs changing the direction. Good hands, Johan Lowe. Also, Divan Joshua and that man knows his way to the try line. How important is that strike in the context of the result this afternoon? Is that going to send Saldana on their way to clinching a victory in front of their own fans? Just over 12 minutes remaining. Jacobs.
taking every available second at his disposal now the strike from Jacobs he turns around he looks after it he's not happy off to the right so 37 26 11 points it's not over for the Crusaders just yet you do sense there's a new energy amongst the men in blue They're letting the ball do the work just drawing those defenders clinical rugby good communication amongst the players good hanging kick for the Crusaders to field my ladder but does exactly that somewhat backwards a lot of pressure again coming that goal, from that goal, that goal. Saldana tackle called so they have to release that ball which they do Sana Joseph somewhat behind his back again but a well fielded there steers he'll never give up the captain of Saldana was that a, a little knock on on the floor well the assistant referee is pointing it out to Dylan Franca at this stage having none of it Sumaru and now the loud whistle tackle height again the problem quick tap for the Crusaders it was Johan Low. hasn't done much wrong this afternoon he's been everywhere Johan Low. Into the hands of Nkefa. Easily fielded by Saldana. It's going to be tough to remove that bulky figure. That's enough, guys. Relax, that is Tim. Relax, relax. Or is it your set? It looks on. like uh, your set could be your set. Oh, good low leg tackle. And your set. Good low body position. Supports his body position. Body weight and completely entitled to steal that ball. But for now, the crowd, they getting behind their team. We can just look at the youngsters as well. The, the parents are showing the way. They're learning them all the songs. And they up and they shouting as well. Lovely to see you. I say it's a, it's a family environment. Such a great tournament that has developed over time. And, and it's, it's done exactly that. It's presented an opportunity to fit for families to come out, enjoy some rugby. There's festivities, there's a lot to do for, for everyone, young and old, and it continues to, to be a great success. Hasn't he led well, the captain, Tim, Daniel Tim, anticipating uh, the possibility of a, a plate trophy in a couple of minutes. Last nine minutes as Divan Joshua feeds the line out. Great competition by Malarbe. Has he uh, successfully backwards, taken it for the Crusaders? Initially he did, but the follow-up work not good enough. So Tim allowed to uh, regain position for Saldana and they're going to run at you all day long tails in the air they fancy uh, a, a, another score as Lospa has been introduced off the bench as well lovely hands oh. here goes the scrum off Jacobs yeah. one pass it's going to end another five uh, for Saldana they're turning it on now and now the crowd is on their feet the dancing the singing because you just get a sense that the home team Saldana might have done enough in this very personal encounter against Crusaders. Krasan Gura, the try scorer, but once again, the scrum off having a crucial role to play in the build up to that try. In the meantime, Lospe has his first kick at goal. It is over, it's 44 26. Ivan Joshua gets over the gain line, quick ball generated. And then Mornay Jacobs, so quick off the mark and brilliant support by that man, Gura. Oh, they love it. Hugs all round. Backwards, There's a party brewing in Saldana Bay and it's going to be a blue party as it stands right now. Seven and a half minutes still to play no, as the Crusaders got anything left in the tank. Step, step, step. Whoa, here comes a, a breakout from uh, Maxwell Wensley. Powerful run from Wensley. Move, move, move. Once quick ball, it's Malarba, steers, needs the pop pass Back to go to, way. and it does! <laughs> Malcolm Back Joseph is over. And if one thing is for sure, this Crusaders team, a lot of character, they won't go lie down. Malcolm Joseph, the try scorer, and wonderful to see a front row man in that supportive position.
just shows the work ethic of this Crusaders team. The conversion is good, but how good was uh, Malcolm Joseph, hand, his hands off the deck. Yeah. Front rankers aren't supposed to do that. And that's the beauty of the skill set of a lot of these players these days. Dean Malherbe gets over the advantage line. Reynard Stier is also doing very well, but a pickup from Malcolm Joseph. Absolutely phenomenal. Haven't we been spoiled in the build up to this final? More than 70 points, 77 points this afternoon. Opening two matches, close affairs, low scoring affairs. Now it's cut loose. Is this a sign of things to come in the grand finale? Progress and Saf goal building up towards uh, their showpiece match to determine the champions of 2023. But for now, Saldana has one hand on the plate. I say one hand because it, it's changed so quickly throughout the afternoon. Now anything can still happen, and this Crusaders team want to secure the ball at this. Errors, errors, errors. It's advantage being played to the Crusaders, though. So six minutes. Another try now in the, let's say, in the next two or three minutes, Ricky. That is going to make it very interesting and set it up beautifully for the final exchanges. They'll try and slow the game down now, Saldana. We saw what happened in the previous game. Nothing is written in stone until that final whistle goes. So an important six and a half minutes left. There might be a couple of ladies sitting on the side of the field warming up their voices, but no one has sung yet. <laughs> yeah, just as the ability, the previous crown, just control your weight when you go down. Seconds! Saldana Come. eating away at the time here at the scrum. Crusaders will field just outside the 22. They can't afford the kick. It has to be a run. It has to be steers. He needs to ignite this back line. Zana sells the dummy. They weren't falling for it, but still an opportunity. Now it uh, goes astray. Oh, you're not going to win the game like that. Saldana will have another run back through Maxwell von Lowe. He's been very busy. A couple of tries for Maxwell von Lowe. No advantages. Referee Franke. So restart with a scrum for Saldana. They'll take all the seconds at their disposal, run down that clock and take another step towards the play trophy. Now there's no rush for them to finish off this game. And I think it might not even just be a tactic. Their bodies are just feeling very tired, yeah. Uh, Kiwan Beleli has been introduced off the bench. Probably the last substitute as there's only uh, four minutes to play. So clearing the bench, giving everyone a run in uh, the final outing for both of these teams at the Transnet Saldana Easter Coach. Super 8 Festival. Find. Dylan Losper will feed guys. this scrum when it does set. So it's on bind, this is facing. We've really been treated this afternoon. Is there one more try for Saldana in the bag? The bag of tricks before they they celebrate the plate trophy three and a half minutes crusaders want the ball they're not going to get it immediately and saldana will be selfish big scrum coming from the crusaders it's uh, gone backwards says the referee but it's turn over ball for the crusaders they need to find a way through and they need to do it pretty quickly to give themselves uh, a faint chance of stealing the win at the depth that's uh, a knock-on, so it's not going to happen for the Crusaders. You feel that's probably that. Let's go back to the advantage. That knock-on from Malcolm Joseph. He's probably still thinking about the try he scored moments ago. Laps in concentration, and that is probably that from a Crusaders perspective. 44-33, Saldana, Lospa. They've had so many individuals play and contribute towards this win. Daniel Them will be extremely relieved. They were very disappointed on Saturday afternoon when they bowed out of the cup competition, beaten by an inspired Safcol unit. Full value for their victory. They promised that they would come back and put on a show for their fans, and they have delivered this afternoon. Losper. Much better hit by Saldana. Losper. Jacob still on the field, not taking the scrum off responsibilities at the moment. Van Lowe has been full of running. He's had numerous chances out wide. Losper, it's set up for Jacobs to be the, the next carrier. Introduces uh, Lopesher, Raymond Lopesher off the bench. Losper, now it's Tim, the inspirational captain of the Saldana unit. 
very difficult to bring him down. Tackle, no! Tackle is not rolling! Lospo will continue to knock away towards the right. Ivan Joshua, hasn't he had a, a good game as well? Lospo, uh, to no one specifically, so they have to restart, reset Saldana. Minutes and 40 seconds to play. Losper has Barnes to his left. First of all, it's uh, the fullback Carrell is the carrier. Now Losper Jonker against the traffic goes Kutsia. Just outside the 22. More good work by Saldana. Waterboer. Long ball to Joshua, always a willing carrier. Also good skill from Joshua. Ati Maguala holding on, says the referee. And now a bit of a verbal, so they'll be March 10, having thrown the ball away as well. Dylan Franca says you can get the extra 10 meters. Less than a minute to go. Reynard Steers is still seated. Big hit coming in from Saldana. Illegally so, so we go to the pocket. Yellow card produced by Dylan Franca. So Saldana will finish with 14. Tackle height is uh, the phrase used by Dylan Franke. A lot of emphasis on that tackle height. Uh, they're talking about adjusting that at amateur level and at schools level. To the chest area, there is Steers. Was that a seat belt? For Dylan Franke says yes, seat belt tackle. you find the tackle was high. Tackle Another good call by the referee. The Dylan Franke has had a good game this afternoon. Time continues to tick away. Lovely hands by Mkefa. This is an uh, opportunity for the Crusaders. Oh, it's just not the way they wanted to finish. Kiwan Belili. Wayne Khan thought that he had his man into the gap. So the final rights of this game being read out, and it is Saldana that will walk away with the victory. It will be a huge celebration. Not the result initially that they wanted on Saturday, but they've come back, they've shown great character to pick themselves up and produce the result that they have this afternoon. Khan just there <laughs> taking his eyes off the ball, Kion Belili, maybe a touch high, just above his head, but he would have expected to, to take care of that. So, we are building up the song and dance, progress moving into the tunnel, moving into the change room, saluting their fans, getting everyone vocal, just taking it all in what an opportunity for these players on your world of champions a cup final dream come true where is the trophy going are they going to celebrate after 80 minutes is the celebrations going to come from those in green the Khrabo people who are here waiting for the siren from the technical table so our, our clock says 81 minutes and siren has sounded now so we'll uh, this will be the final play if, uh, if there's no penalty awarded or free kick i'm sure saldana will try and kick this into touch or they might decide the, that they'll go on another run there's a free kick so tap and kick out go and collect the trophy what does daniel team say jacobs it's going they're not interested in running you can just see the way the forwards are are looking back at uh, at their man to kick it dead into touch and now the celebrations can finally start officially start because the play champions for 2023 is the hosts saldana bay There we go, the Crusaders gave a, gave a great account of themselves. They scored five tries this afternoon, but ultimately the scoreboard and the try count favoured the hosts. Saldana will come away with the victory and the plate trophy, 44-33. Well, to select highlights is a, a pretty difficult task. We've got so many to show you, but here are some of the moments if you've just joined us. First try belonging to Maxwell von Lowe. He would go on to score another one in the second half that got us going crowd on their feet anticipating a, a fruitful result the crusaders also came and scored and produced some magic this was justin barna lovely floated ball over the top and then the perfect line being uh, run by ronaldo fortain also a busy character for the crusaders on attack this afternoon he went over 
Saldana Yuan Lo became a prominent figure throughout the course of the match. Burst through the first tackle of uh, Morne Mkwai. And he had an opportunity to celebrate with his mates. The Crusaders, before the half-time break, had uh, one more install. How good was that step from uh, Shaquille Hartnick? And then he sent Curtis Skippers on his way. This one came a burst of speed from the right wing. He left uh, Ati Maguala for dead and then uh, went over as well. So Ronaldo Fortain just showing his burst of speed and uh, how good he was off the mark. Crusaders with a bit of space. Jalen James came into his own, sent the left wing away. Justin Barna, Barna doubled up and then went over for his try. Well deserved one. Swan dive to boot. You almost sense that the Crusaders were, were just getting more comfortable. And then the, the killer blow came here. Divan Joshua, lovely hands by the hooker, sent uh, Maya on his way. The Mashu Maya who came off the bench. And just after that, there was a, it was a double...